Oh, so I can't bring my hammock to Wizards Unite Fest. Looks like I gotta go repack. Again. What's going on everybody? My name is Zoe, this is Nick and Witches, and I hope you're having a marvelous day because today we're gonna be talking about Wizards Unite Fan Festival. I did get tickets. I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna be in Indianapolis on Saturday, August 31st with the rest of the WooTubers pack. So make sure you come and say hi to us. We are not shy. We really wanna meet all of you. So if you see any of us, come and say hello. I would love to take a picture with you or just hang out. It's going to be held at White River State Park. They are laid out on HarryPotterWizardsUnite.com under the events tab. So if you have any other questions, I suggest you go check out that of course the link will be in the description down below um white river state park i've already looked that up on google maps it is a nice little park with a lot of water so it should be very very nice if you haven't gotten your tickets yet it's going to be 30 dollars for the normal access and 40 dollars for early access you go got the early access for reasons okay right so if you're going to be using the general access ticket it starts at 11 but if you've got early access you are going to be at 9 a.m that is an extra two hours in the park. Oh, I'm so excited about all of that. New encounters. Explore Wright River State Park to discover brand new encounters, including never before seen holidays. So we're gonna have things in there we haven't seen before. As you explore White River State Park, commemorate the experience by snapping photos with iconic elements from the game. So they're encouraging us to take a lot of AR photos. Of course, you know, I'm gonna be all over Instagram. Look, that's like the Instagram logo right there. So yeah, they want us to use Instagram. I'm gonna be using Instagram a lot that day, so keep, if you're not going to be going, um, watch me on Instagram, I'll be uploading a lot of photos, and of course, I'm going to be vlogging the whole weekend. I get there on Friday and I leave Monday afternoon, so I've got four days in Indy, roughly. <laughs> um, relax, make sure to take time to rest, relax, and recharge alongside your fellow Statute of Secrecy Task Force members. It's gonna be a lot of social places to hang out. Hopefully they've got some places with shade because I'm gonna be needing a lot of sunscreen. Stay tuned, follow these places, and use the hashtag wizard tonight. Okay, frequently asked questions. This is, this right here, this stay tuned, felt like a footer, and so I would stop here and then scroll back up. Scroll past this and you've got frequently asked questions. We did have to choose a either north or south entrance, so make sure you keep an eye on what gate you are going in. Transit options. Here are some different transportation methods. Uh, there's some public transport, um, parking resources, Indiegogo bus for the military bus stop, um, taxis and parking. And there's also um, additional park. There's other ADA options as well. Guest services, help and information. I appreciate this. As a mom, I know there's a lot of other moms that are gonna appreciate this. Nursing stations. We have partnered with Memarva to provide two lactation pods. Please visit the nearest help desk for the exact location. Leave no trace. Uh, plan ahead and prepare. Think about what you bring. Pack a refillable water bottle. Take a of water refilling station. So you don't have to bring like a million and a half water bottles. You can just bring your normal water bottle and refill it all day long. I personally, if you're going to be going to the event, I'm going to have my Barufio's timer going off and every time we do a Baruf, like we have to restock our Barufios. We gonna take a drink, okay? It's like a water hydration drinking game. When your Barufios runs out, you take a drink. <laughs> Barufios hydration game. They want us to stay on the paths and avoid any areas that are closed off, obviously. They're, you know, you don't want maintenance to have to do more work when we leave. The vegetation is, when the vegetation is trampled, great as weeds will grow. Do, 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 take care of the paths and trails. Pack it in, pack it out. This is just normal, like just be a good human rules, okay? There's going to be trash cans all over. You can also make sure to bring out the things that you brought in. Keep wildlife wild. Leave the squirrels alone. If you see a piece of trash, pick it up. If you have trash, find a trash can. It's not that hard. Don't be a terrible person. Okay, exit and re-entry policy. You will be able to exit and re-enter the park at any time. So like, if you know, you need to go to your hotel room and take like a 30 minute nap, go do that. Like, you know, oh. Security and assistant, there will of course be security. If you have any problems, report anything weird. All right, and now we're getting into, now we're getting to the fun part. <laughs> allowed and prohibited items. Following items are allowed. Backpacks, standard school size backpacks only. No frames or camping gear. A framed backpack one of those like really big ones with like the metal 
bits on the back. Like, no, that's for backpacking, like hardcore backpacking or camping gear. So like, don't bring a sleeping bag. Don't bring a mat. Don't do, don't do that thing. Okay. Uh, binoculars. You can bring binoculars. We can bring blankets, sheets, and towels. So if you want to bring a blanket to sit on, like you want to sit down and have a picnic and like grind with some dark detectors, do that. That sounds like a great idea. Cameras, basic point and shoot and consumer grade cameras. So things like DSLRs and your little point and shoot cameras, GoPro cameras without accessories. So like don't bring your head mount, don't bring your chest mount, don't be crazy, okay? No helmet mount. I mean, helmet to the park, I don't know. Um, sealed sunscreen lotion, no aerosol. I prefer aerosol cans, but I kind of understand why they don't want aerosol. <sighs> I'll be bringing a little tube. Empty hydration packs and water bottle, but there should be hydration stations everywhere. Pre-packaged food. You may bring factory sealed bottles of water and refill them throughout the day at our free water filling stations. A collapsible umbrella and strollers are allowed. The following items are prohibited. And this is where things get hilarious, okay. Cigarettes, e-cigs, and vaping devices. Aerosol containers, including sun sunscreen and personal beauty products. Any and all professional audio recording equipment. So we can't bring like the big boom mics and we can't bring any of that stuff. Any and all professional video equipment. So don't bring your red. Don't do it. Uh, camera accessories such as selfie sticks, tripods, monopods, GoPro mounts, and attachments, and other commercial equipment. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to find out um, that gorilla pods are gonna be fine, but like we can't be bringing like the six foot tripods and the monopods. None of us are gonna be bringing um, any other commercial equipment and stuff like that. Drones or other remote flying devices, totems, flags, and banners, coolers of any kind, exceptions may be made for medical use. So like if you're a diabetic um, and you have to keep your insulin cold, which I know that's a thing that has to happen and there are other um, medications that must be kept cold, you're good, you can bring those. Framed backpack, hammocks. <laughs> I just really wanna know who tried to bring a hammock to go fest, who did that? Glass containers, we don't need glass breaking, that's understand. Weapons or explosives of any kind, illegal or illicit substances of any kind. Oh gee, I hope so. Drugs or other drug paraphernalia, alcohol of any kind. Yeah, we don't need people getting dumb in the bar. Professional grade radios or walkie talkies, so we can't be playing secret agent man. Pets, except for service animals. Skateboard scooters, bicycles, wagons, carts, including red wagons, or any personal motorized vehicles. I'm sure once again, this is not count for like wheelchairs or accessibility scooters and things like that. Tents, canopies, or shade structures of any kind. Preparation or cooking of food on site. Please do not affix anything to trees or shrubs. So like we can't set up our gorilla pods on the trees. Okay, that is okay. Unauthorized, unlicensed vendors are not allowed. And no chairs of any kind. I, don't, I wouldn't want to haul a camp chair around anyway. That's fine. There are accessibility uh, accommodations, which is really great. Make sure you bring some sunscreen. That's a really good idea. And a small hand towel. I've seen that mentioned on several different videos for Pokemon Go fan fest. So I suggest you bring maybe a towel or something along those lines. If you feel like bringing lunch, it has to be pre-packaged. So uh, like go to Kroger and grab one of their pre-packaged sandwiches. Make sure you don't break the seal on that and you should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really, really excited about going to Wizards Unite Fan Fest. If you want to help me get there a little easier, I highly suggest you go check out the Patreon. The link is in the doobly-doo or you can go buy a shirt. Like this one. You can go and get a shirt just like this one in my merch store down below, so go check it out. I also have a couple of other really cool shirts that you might like, including the hashtag WooTuber Naughty because the enlightened know of the calamity. And also the hashtag I'm a foodie, which that's just a great, great joke. And I really hope you guys enjoy those t-shirts. There's also stickers and mugs and long sleeve shirts and hoodies and leggings. Did you know that I do leggings? I do leggings, girl. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more because you know, I run around and I do some cool things and stuff. And remember that I love you always. I'll catch you later, okay? Bye.